Lucid Motors has been promising us ever since they announced they were going to make a car that their cars would be able to charge other electric vehicles directly charge port to charge port. However, the system wasn't quite ready until now. I have Lucid's range exchange system in this bag here, which we're going to review today, go over all the features, see just how much power it offloads, and perhaps help out a stranded electric vehicle owner that may or may not have run out of charge on the side of the road. So let's get into it. So the vehicle to vehicle charging system is called Lucid's range exchange system. And it's here in the bag. This gets stored in the trunk of a Lucid Air. And it's basically Lucid's mobile charger with the range exchange adapter. So let's take a look inside. Okay, here's the mobile charger. It's a nice compact unit, and this is a dual voltage charger. So you could use it with either the 120 volt adapter, which plugs in here, and then you can charge your vehicles from a regular 120 volt outlet. Now you're not gonna get a lot of power out of that, maybe just a little more than one kilowatt, but if you're parked for a long time or in a pinch, you can absolutely use this to charge your electric vehicles. I charge mine on 120 volt frequently, particularly if I'm on the road somewhere to a friend's house or something far away, and I'm gonna be there for a couple of days. I just plug it in and over the course of a few days, I get over 100 miles of range. So it also comes with the NEMA 1450 adapter, which gets plugged into a 240 volt NEMA 1450 outlet. Now with this, it's going to deliver the full 40 amps that the portable charger can, which is 9.6 kilowatts, a lot of power. And uh, that's how most people charge their electric vehicles at home with uh, uh, at least a 40 amp uh, level two charger. Okay, so this is what comes with uh, a Lucid's mobile charger. Now, unfortunately, this used to be standard with Lucid Air vehicles. It no longer is. Recently, Lucid changed their policy. Now you have to purchase their mobile charger if you want to with the vehicle. A uh, Tesla did a similar thing also. Their uh, chargers used to come with the vehicles. They no longer do have to buy them. However, this is an expensive unit. It's $650. It's a really good unit. I like how it's small and compact. Some of these portable chargers are much bigger and bulkier, uh, but uh, it is $650. And and this is the V2, the second version of, of Lucid's mobile charger. Those who have Lucid Airs already from uh, 2022 through 2024 that purchased a Lucid Air and got the mobile charger with the vehicle, that's a version one mobile charger. Unfortunately, it will not work with Lucid's range exchange system. So if you have a mobile charger, you have a Lucid Air and a mobile charger came with it, you will not be able to use the range exchange system without buying another mobile charger, this, the V2 version. Okay, so this is what comes with the mobile charger. If you wanna have Lucid's range exchange system that can charge vehicle to vehicle, you have to purchase the range exchange adapter. This is gonna be an additional $125. So $650 for the unit, $125, $775 for the complete system. Now this plugs in to the mobile charger just like these adapters do. And this becomes the power source which gets plugged into your Lucid Air. So basically it works just like the uh, adapters do plugging it into a, a wall outlet, except your car becomes the wall outlet and in doing so, it can deliver up to 40 amps, which is 9.6 kilowatts. So you've got this end here plugs into the Lucid Air, and there's actually a little picture on the top of it that shows you, okay, this is the car, the power goes this way, so people don't plug this side into the Lucid Air and this side into the vehicle that you want to charge. It's not going to work that way. It has to get plugged into uh, the V, the Lucid has to get this end, which is the power source, for it to flow through to the car. Comes with a nice long cable. Lucid's mobile charger has a 20 foot long cord from the base of the unit to the connector. However, when you add the 
range extender adapter, you get another foot. So you've got nearly 22 feet of length between the two charge ports. So that way, you know, you can reach almost any charge port from any point of you parking your Lucid, as long as you get relatively close to the car. It's got a really nice long cable, so that the cable length shouldn't be a problem. I've seen some of these portable chargers only have like 12 foot cables or 18 foot cables. This is long, well over 20 feet, so you should be able to reach from your charge port to the vehicle that you want to help out. Um, so, uh, well, that's it for the, the unit itself. Uh, 775 all in. As I said, this comes separately, but unfortunately, if you currently have a Lucid portable charger, this is not going to work. You got to get the whole thing uh, because this is the vehicle to vehicle enabled charger. The first one doesn't have that uh, intelligence inside, so it won't work. Okay, well, let's see if this works. I'm going to plug a Lucid Air Grand Touring into my brand new Chevrolet Equinox EV that I just got a couple of days ago, and we'll see how much power it delivers over two hours of charging. State of Charge is powered by Qmerit. After I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charging equipment you're going to buy, follow the link in the description of my videos and let the EV charging installation professionals at Qmerit install it. The first thing you want to do is plug in both vehicles. So I opened up the air's charge port and plugged the range exchanged into the air and then into my Equinox EV. Once that was done, the air center display let me know that range exchange was ready and that I needed to tap the start sharing icon. You then have the ability to set a minimum state of charge for the air so you don't end up transferring more energy than you'd like to. Here I'm raising it from the factory 25% up to 50%. I then checked the Equinox state of charge and estimated remaining range and it was 40% state of charge with 132 miles of estimated range. I recorded the air's display screen in time lapse and it showed that the range exchange was delivering 9 kilowatts for the entire session. There's no decimal point to show exactly how much was being transferred, but I believe it was about 9.5 kilowatt because at the end of two hours, the air showed that the range exchange had transferred 19 kilowatt hour to the Equinox. Checking the Equinox, it confirmed that figure because the state of charge was now 18% higher at 58%, and it actually went to 59% between the time I took this short video clip and walked over to the air to turn off the range exchange. The estimated range was now 192 miles, which is 60 miles more than when I started the power transfer. So the air did deliver the full 40 amps to the Equinox for the full two hours, making it a very valuable tool to transfer energy from vehicle to vehicle and help out a stranded motorist. Okay, so it works as advertised. 19 kilowatt hour delivered in two hours of charging. So it's averaging uh, 9.5 uh, kilowatt to the vehicle and uh, of course there's some charging losses all of that didn't end up into the equinox battery but uh, the equinox added 60 miles of range in those two hours so the charging losses aren't bad now, i wasn't able to measure the exact charging losses but it seems similar to what you would get plugging into a wall mounted 40 amp electric vehicle charger. So um, good on Lucid, they've done a good job with this. Now I'm gonna take a ride and uh, see if I could find a stranded motorist out there that I can help out and uh, recharge their vehicle. And wouldn't you know it, I didn't even have to drive far and I just happened to find a stranded Tesla Model Y with the owner just standing next to his car. And oh, you know what? There was even a camera set up across the street, coincidentally, so I could record the whole thing. Those of you that follow this channel might recognize the man standing next to the Tesla. That's Pete Bremi. I've done some video collaborations with Pete. He's a friend of mine and he was my co-pilot when I raced Kyle Connor down to Florida in our F-150 Lightnings a few months back. And Pete was kind enough to pretend to run out of charge so I could show how this might work if a vehicle is uh, sitting on the side of the road and ran out of charge. So I had to pick, you know, one of those low range Teslas and uh, save it with the long range Lucid Air. 
All right, well, that's it for our Lucid Range Exchange review. This thing works. So, um, you know, good on Lucid for finally coming out with it. Um, I was hoping it would come out a little sooner. I've been anticipating this pro product. It's a really good product. Uh, what I would say is it's not the first of its kind. There are other electric vehicles that can charge uh, electric vehicles, uh, but they do it a different rate. It is the first system like this that uh, the mobile charger just uses an adapter and then can recharge other electric vehicles. For instance, my Ford F-150 Lightning has pro power on board that has a 240 volt outlet in the back. I can plug into that and charge other electric vehicles uh, the same as this system works. And then there's also other electric vehicles that have vehicle to load capability. And you'd get an adapter like I have here. You'd plug this side into your electric vehicle and on this side, there's a, a outlet that you would plug in your mobile charger. Now this is gonna charge much slower than what the uh, Lucid range exchange can do. Nowhere is near the rate of, uh, as you saw, like 30 miles of range per hour with my uh, Chevy Equinox. They probably aren't going to want to sit there and charge somebody for an hour. But the good news is you most likely won't have to. If you do run across legitimate person that ran out of a charge and they're on the side of the road, they probably ran out very close to their destination, whether it be their home or friend's house or a charging station. Because when electric vehicle owners run out of charge, they just miscalculated and they just barely didn't make their destination most of the time. Everybody that I've heard of running out of charge has done so like within five miles of where they're supposed to go. Sometimes within a few hundred feet, the vehicle just didn't make it, they miscalculated. So you probably only have to give them a boost for like, 30, 20, 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, you should be able to deliver somewhere between 10 and maybe 18 miles of range to an electric vehicle with this system, depending how efficient that EV is. The more efficient vehicles will go further with the same amount of power. But, um, you know, 20, 30 minutes should be all you need to get that person to where they need to go. So um, let me know what you guys think about Lucid's range exchange system in the comment section below. I like the system. I don't like that you have to pay $775 for it or that Lucid no longer includes the mobile charger with their vehicles. But I, that is a trend that I'm seeing with other electric vehicles too. Early on, you know, years ago, all electric vehicles came with uh, charging equipment. Even if it was just a, a level one, 120 volt mobile charger, then most of the, the vehicles started transitioning and giving dual voltage level two chargers like, like this one is here. But now we're seeing some of the OEMs pull back and not include any charging equipment and saying, you know what? If you want this stuff, you have to pay for it. There's a lot of our customers that don't need it because they already have charging equipment. They have another EV. So why should we build that into the price and make you pay for it if you want it, pay for it? So I understand that philosophy, but the Lucid Air is a premium electric vehicle that is not inexpensive. Uh, it would be nice if they continued to uh, include this with the car, but they no longer do. And it's $650 for the charger. And then you've got to do another 125, which is reasonable for this adapter here. So um, yeah, let us know what you think about the unit in the comment section below. And if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.